Hello, my name is Olivia Balsinger, and today I am on the central coast of Vietnam at the newly opened Alma Resort and Cam Ra. I'm here with Herbert labischler Pichler, the general manager of the resort, and he's going to give us the inside scoop today. Thank you for being here, Herbert. Thank you, Olivia, for having me. It's been, it's been a lovely stay, and we're excited to show our viewership exactly what the Alma brings to the area. This is Insider Travel Report. So, Herbert, the Alma Resort is the newest of its kind here in Camera. Is that correct? It is correct. We opened on the 29th of December last year. Wow, so, so almost a 2020 resort then. Uh, I, as we were driving to the resort before our beautiful three-night stay, I noticed there was a lot of construction and, and other really grand and massive resorts. I know that tourists know about Da Nang or Halong Bay, but can you tell me a little bit about Cam Ra and uh, what visitors from the West will find here and also what makes the Alma distinctive with all of this competition surrounding? Okay, let me first talk a little bit about Cameron. Cameron is known to the West uh, for its deep port harbor, which was in the American War or in the Vietnam War, as uh, some people say, uh, known for its, for its deep port harbor because it was a base for the American soldiers here. And recently, in the last, I would say, 10 years, it developed as one of the brand new spots in Vietnam. Famous for its 30 kilometer long beach, white sandy beach, and because it has this beach and because it's in the center of Vietnam, uh, 35 to 40 minutes away from a city which is known more than Cam Ranh uh, so far, which is, Na, which is Nha Trang, it became a very, very hot investment spot. Now, as you drive around, uh, along your right from the airport all the way up to Nha Trang, you will see a lot of new developments and uh, we talk about over 1 billion investment over the next 30 years. <laughs> Wow, so uh, this, is, this is the place to be in the next few years. This is where the developments will be happening. Um, and it's, it's pretty centrally located too, between uh, Ho Chi Minh and Hanoi, easy flight. So, so it should be on people's radars. Um, okay, so second part of my question. What makes the Alma distinct uh, with all of this competition kind of swarming around it? Uh, I think our USP and our competitive edge over the other newer projects and over the older project is that we have a very, very strong focus on entertainment, on recreation. We have a water park which is very large, which can hold six to eight hundred at any one given time. We have many other uh, recreation activities which others don't have. In particular, we have 12 swimming pools, which is already one, one USB in itself. And then I must say we do a lot for the children. We have a very nice uh, kids club open from 9 o'clock in the morning until 9 o'clock in the evening. We have a very exciting youth club with We Are Games. And then there is our food and beverage, which is also one of a kind with all our different chefs from all around the world. Okay, so, so basically an all-in-one type, type place, very family-oriented. Uh, I've noticed already it seems to be a, a mix of uh, Vietnamese families and you're, you're hoping to attract more Western crowds uh, in the coming years. How do you plan on working with uh, especially American travel trade, um, travel agents, and, and hopefully kind of bringing in that component as well? Okay, for the American travel trade, we have Balkan Media, which is our PR agency, and thanks to Balkan, you and Jonathan are here, <laughs> and many more journalists will come. So Balkan represents us on the American market, and the American market for us is important for many reasons. Americans, when they come to Vietnam, are one of the biggest spenders. They need large rooms, they need our pavilions, which we have up to 220 square meters. And as you mentioned before, we are good for families, but I must say we are also very good for couples. Because all, all the units we have, be it the suites or the pavilions, they can be used for two guests and we can go up to nine guests in total for each, for each unit. So we have also, this is one, one, one good thing about us, that we can mix and match mm -hmm. our units which we have and just make it perfect for, the f for a couple or for a large family. 
Yes, my boyfriend and I don't have any children yet, and we thought it was certainly romantic. I mean, with a private plunge pool in our suite, uh, you really couldn't ask for, for anything more. Um, can, you, can you tell me a little bit about the range of accommodations? I know that the resort can hold 3,000 guests. Uh, where do these guests stay? What is kind of lowest here, and where, where do, uh, wh what's the creme de la creme on the resort in terms of accommodation? So the lowest tier is our one bedroom suite, uh, 70 square meter, can hold five because we have a very large sofa in, in all the suites, good for families or just perfect for couples. And then we go all the way up to three bedroom pavilions with a swimming pool, with a private swimming pools, and they go up to 220, 240 square meter. So there is this range from, from a suite to a pavilion, from one bedroom, two bedroom, three bedroom and the good thing about all our units is that all of them have sea view that the resort is built from the sea cascading up to the lobby and even from the restaurants which are close to the lobby you can look down to the sea so that's uh, another an, another big advantage our guests have Absolutely, there's really no bad view on uh, on this property <laughs> and as you briefly mentioned before I uh, I personally think one of the most unique design facets of this resort is the fact that there are 12 pools, correct, that really kind of cascade down to the ocean. Um, can you tell me a little bit about what went into this design thought and uh, uh, how successful it is? Are people coming back to you saying, wow, this is unique, I haven't seen this before because I'm saying that personally. <laughs> Yeah, uh, the designer is Ara, a famous uh, uh, design company. For the States, Ara is uh, known as the designer of the Setai. Mm -hmm. Not the Setai in Miami, but the Setai in, uh, in, in uh, Tel Aviv. Uh, and the Setai used, used to be a GHM property, and the owner of the Setai, which owns the Miami Setai, also owns a property in Tel Aviv. And Ara is the, the designer also of this hotel. So Ara is known for Tempo temporary uh, uh, design for more modern designs and that's that's the difference to our resort what we have compared to other Vietnamese resorts usually when you think of Vietnam you have the rice fields mm -hmm. you have the rusty bicycle and the girls with the white eyes and the long black hair and the conical hat in your in your mind mm -hmm. and you think of very traditional hotels we are not traditional we are modern we represent the new vibrant Vietnam with the Vietnamese soul. This makes our hotel so interesting. Absolutely. Um, and one way I saw a little bit of that mesh of the old Vietnam and the new was was quite interestingly in a, a choir performance last night. So we learned from Herbert that uh, the Alma is very proud of its staff run choir. Uh, and apparently these choirs are, are quite popular in Vietnam around the holidays, but Herbert's taken this to a whole new level. So can you tell me a little bit about your, uh, uh, your Brady Bunch of, of staff that's, that is delighting, delighting everyone here? No, I thank you for this question because this cry is really deep to my heart. Being an Austrian, coming from a musical country, and uh, you know our sound of music is uh, is known all over the world. And it started off as a Christmas choir. It went so well, uh, only in a short time, maybe one month. Ben, our pianist, and Angie, the singer, which uh, acts as a conductor and as a cho choreographer for the for the choir put together a really, really stunning performance. And the guests they all liked it when we performed over Christmas and over New Year. And we had one guest, he said, w what about what's next? Are you not using the choir for other performances? And then, then we said, yeah, good idea, why not? So we, inc we gave the members of the choir uh, a, a music allowance, yeah, so they can they make a little bit more money but they have to, they have to uh, come to the, to the, to the practice uh, of, of the choir, minimum 85%, otherwise we take the allowance away, so we push them. We gave a little bit more to Ben and to Angie, and now I allowed Ben and Angie to move into the resort to give them more time to practice with the choir. And on every Thursday, we have a party for our guests, and it will be a sing-along party, so first the, the choir will perform, uh, then for the second round, we, uh, we, 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 con we, we, we distribute the, the, the lyrics of the songs and we're selecting songs which are really, really famous like Mamma Mia and Dancing Queen. I, yes, I was, I was Dancing Queen with the choir last night. So, no, it's, and it's, 
it's a very unique concept and, it, and like I said, uh, I think it really melds the two, the two Eastern and Western worlds um, quite well and, and also it, it brings together staff which, which is always the best thing you can do and, and keep up morale. So I heard that uh, people in the industry, uh, U.S. agents, may have another reason and another initiative to visit Alma. Is that correct? That's correct, yeah. And uh, for travel agents who come all the while from America, it takes a while. So you should not just come for one spot. I know many travel agents through my many years in the industry and through some uh, wonderful uh, we do also travel shows in Las Vegas, and I know when you coming to, uh, to, to this part of the world, you always combine it maybe with Bangkok, with Hong Kong, with Siam Reap, with Phnom Penh. So make use of a very special rate, which I'm going to offer all the travel trades uh, from the States, which is $100 net, inclusive of breakfast, for a perfect suite with 70 square meter, all the way up to uh, the three bedroom. And if you are lucky and if you have room, you may get an upgrade for $100 to a three bedroom pool uh, pavilion. Who knows? Uh, well, sign me up. <laughs> that sounds lovely. And thank you again. We had an absolutely fantastic stay here. And the Alma Resort is family friendly, but also caters uh, to a more romantic couple. Uh, it has 12 pools, one of the largest kid clubs in the region, chefs from all over the world, and that true Vietnamese spirit, which is reflected in the kindness of the staff, in the uh, the songs that the choir sings and and just in the general hospitality so thank you again herbert for an absolutely wonderful stay these last few days and i hope others can uh, see the beauty of this resort as well thank you for visiting us olivia it was great to have you and to feel the passion and the drive you have for this industry it's wonderful to have you as a as an ambassador and to visit us and thank you for giving me the opportunity to talk to the insiders thank you very much of course well thank you my friend and this is olivia balsinger on insider travel report